All right, let's set the record straight on smart contracts, people. This is Gavin Mail. Check this out. We're going to go to the Wikipedia page on smart contracts, and we're going to also kind of break some things down a little bit, you know, and really like a good example of the very first smart contracts that everybody's been dealing with and what it is all about is a vending machine. Think about it, like you go to a vending machine, you you order a Pepsi or Coke, you know, you put your little money in or you swipe your card nowadays, and all of a sudden, contract pops out, soda comes out, you drink it. Same idea, but like with touring complete machines inside of the uh, inside of these these different protocols. Now, Wikipedia says a few things. Yeah, that appear to be outdated. And so uh, someone needs to somehow correct this. It says here, smart contracts are a computer programming or transactional protocol that intend to automate, execute, control, or document events and actions according to the terms of a contract or an agreement. The objective of smart contracts are the reduction of the need of trusted intermediaries, arbitration costs, fraud losses, as well as the reduction of malicious accidental executions. So, you know, and, and they're traditionally associated with Ethereum. Now, now let's go on down here. It says here, since Bitcoin, various cryptocurrency, okay, first of all, let's back a little bit. Any machines... Uh, the original Ethereum white paper by Vitalik Buterin in 2013 described the Bitcoin protocol as a weak version of the smart contract concept as originally defined by Nick Zabo and proposed stronger version of the Solidity language, which is a Turing complete. Since Bitcoin, various cryptocurrencies have supported programming languages which allow for a more advanced smart contracts between untrusted parties. A smart contract should should be used, should not be confused with smart legal contracts. So now let's just set the record straight here because I think there's a little bit of confusion. It appears that according to Wikipedia, it's like since Bitcoin, you know, these other cryptocurrencies have now started doing uh, smart contracts. But for some reason, they're just not missing. They're just missing the boat here uh, because it you know needs to be corrected that Bitcoin, here we go. Bitcoin virtual machine. Scrypt is a type of framework to develop smart contracts and tokens on Bitcoin virtual machines. Simplicity, scalability, programmability, security, all on Bitcoin. So for whatever reason, it's not clear on Wikipedia that smart contracts are on Bitcoin. And it's not just these cryptocurrencies. It's all on the original protocol. So uh, hopefully we can get this video out there and and correct the record over there at the people at Wikipedia, uh, you know, so we could, you know, get a little record straight. I mean, think, think of a world where we reduce the need for intermediaries, title companies, uh, escrow companies, credit card companies, you know, I mean, you know, reduce fraud, reduce things, arbitration costs, reduce legal fees, intermediaries. Intermediaries in, are just about in everything we do. Imagine a world where we reduce the intermediate need for the intermediaries, having and having to rely on them to trust them. That's what's happening now with these with these smart contract protocols and really smart, you know, brilliant people are, are putting these things together. So let's correct the record, kind of like what the what's in it for you. And a good example is uh, ordinals, the uh, little tokens they call them uh, NFTs. NFTs. Yeah, that's a great example. Like NFTs are a good example of smart contracts. And there's so many more examples, but let's just set the record straight that it that according to it's scrypto.io, I'll put a link here in the bottom of the, this Wikipedia page, there are smart contracts on the Bitcoin protocol. So hopefully that helps. If you like the video, hit the like button, share the video, get the word out there, man. We got to freaking pump this out there and correct the record at Wikipedia so they can get the record straight. I'll see you guys at the top of the notification bells and subscribe.